<sighs> I don't know if you remember, not so long ago I made a video about the um, Telecaster, the Harley Benton. Well, um, how do I say this? Yeah, that guitar. Um, hmm. Well, I, 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 I made some modifications in the guitar. Uh, and um, it didn't turn up to be exactly what I wanted. I don't... <laughs> I don't even know where to start, honestly. Uh, let's say that the main idea was only to replace the pickup, the pick guard, and throw in some locking tuners. Jesus Christ. But then I had the great idea to, you know what, I'm going to replace the nut. Because I've never done that and I saw some videos and it seemed fairly easy. So I bought myself a Graftec nut and that's when everything went fucking downhill. The thing is, that, um, well, if you know or if you don't, the nuts are almost like slightly glued to the neck. So, in theory, with a few little hits, um, it should come off. Obviously, it didn't. So I hit it too hard and this fucking thing happened. I don't know if you can clearly see, but there's like a piece of wood which color doesn't match the neck. Well, the thing was that I hit it too hard and I totally fucked the piece of wood that basically creates the cavity or the shaft right where the knot goes. I, I broke this piece and the piece just came off. And um, I almost fucking died of a heart attack, honestly. I wanted to cry, scream. I made basically a copy of that piece with some other wood that I had laying around and I glued it right here in where it should be, you know. And then came fuck up number two. Since I only wanted this guitar to be a one pickup guitar. Oh, the humanity it all. Just like the way it is right now. I was trying to see if I could find a, um, I don't know what the hell the name of this thing is, this metal plate. The thing is that as hard as I tried, I couldn't find a, at least a cheap or a decent price of metal plate that I could fit here. And then I was like, well, you know what? Since I can't find that piece, why don't I age it a little bit? A little bit, Alexander, a little bit. I aged the piece with just sandpaper. So I was like, well, I might just age the paint a little bit, you know, just a little bit, Alexander, a little bit. A little scratch here and there, and eh, it's gonna match then the, the metal piece. And so I started to look on internet uh, pictures of black telecasters obviously to get some inspiration and copy some things that I would like on any pictures that I would see. And then I saw a picture of a fairly heavily relic telecaster black just like this one and I was like wow that looks fucking great. And well I started working on the paint. Fuck up number two. Jesus fucking Christ I had no idea that the matte finish was going to basically look horrible once you start sending the thing. It's, it's not like the normal, uh, it's not like, because it's not like the normal gloss finish that when you start scratching, basically what you, for some reason, when you start scratching white lines, it looks horrible. So right when I started doing that, I was like, fuck, I'm just gonna have to take away all of the finish and my hands got too excited and this happened. I don't even want to say out loud what it looks like, but it's fucking hard. Okay, at that part I was like a little depressed. I was like, well, great, I fucked it up, but it's okay. Maybe later on I can use this guitar as another paint project or whatever the hell. And then comes the most humiliating fuck up that I did in this guitar. Sadly enough, I lost that footage. Oh God, I bought, oh, this is hard. Instead of buying the pickguard already shaped and drilled, since I love making things harder than they are, I bought myself a piece of pickguard material and I was like, yeah, great, I'm just gonna use my jigsaw and I'm gonna, you know, fuck it up. And the funny thing is that out of anger I just grabbed a piece of plastic and I threw it, I threw it away. 
and I should have kept it, you know, just to put it on the wall as a friendly reminder of how far you should go. And then the major fuck up number three, right when I started doing the wiring, because I bought a new pot and a new uh, output jack, I realized that I had bought a normal size pot when the cavity of the damn metal plate was made to fit a mini pot. At, the mo at that moment I was just basically crying out of anger, depression and sadness. But then I was like, well, you know what, I'm not gonna buy another pot. I'm just gonna drill this thing until the pot fits and that's it. And that's what I did. Obviously I fucked it up. Once again. So after all of this um, massacre, experiment and failed attempt of modding the guitar, I ended up with this. A ugly looking guitar that Luckily it stays in tune, still plays well, yet here we go with the major problems that are not aesthetic, but remember when I told you that I drilled a hole for the normal pot to fit in? Well, what I ended up with was this fucking rattling noise. And that annoying fucking noise just translates perfectly when you are playing. Then, another thing came up. I have this pretty annoying fucking noise every time I stop hitting a string. It's like a metallic wing sound. And what fucking kills me is that I really love the sound of this pickup. Exactly everything that I wanted, less gain, more control, more clarity, but sadly I decided to fuck things up beyond repair. Because let's face it, this is an 80 euros guitar and I'm not planning on throwing one more euro on this guitar just trying to fix whatever I ended up fucking up. Until this point I really don't know what to do with this guitar. I think I'm just gonna leave it as a practice guitar. And it's really sad because if well if it was well done, oh my god, this would have been a great project. So there's that. Um, I think this is going to be my last project for a really long time. <laughs> I'm done with cheap guitars, honestly. <laughs> well, I ended up destroying this guitar. And it's sad because for being uh, such a cheap guitar, it just played so good and it sounded really good even with the, st with the stock pickups. So, I don't know if you ever had such a failure project just like this. <laughs> um, if you did, just put it there in the comments so I can, you know, share the sadness. And uh, if you want to insult me, it's fine, it's great, just throw it there in the comments, I deserve it. Well, anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to, if you like this, well, no one's gonna like it. If you like my honesty, uh, give me a thumbs up and <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Um, remember that I'm also active on uh, Instagram. I'm active on Instagram. I don't know that. Anyways, I'm there on Instagram and I post things every single day there. Videos, info, memes, you know, Instagram shit. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I promise that the next guitar video is not going to be as depressing as this one. Have a great weekend. Enjoy with great friends and great beers. Listen to some heavy music and break your neck.